We're here with Ricky, Christine, and Ian from Sunshine Sympathy. I'm the tall one. <laughs> <laughs> Sunshine Sympathy for the devil. Yes. How do you feel your first show went? Oh, we were very happy with our first show. Yeah, we were happy with the crowd. From a musical perspective, on stage, it felt really good. Like, I was probably nervous for the first three songs. Ian was shaking. I was pretty stressed out. Uncontrolled. Oh, Uncontrolled. Oh, oh, we, we, we only had two months to put the whole thing together. The whole band, and the set list, and everything. And I, I think it really went well, and I'm really proud of the musicians. I was told all I needed to bring was my kazoo. It was like a party. It's a trip set. I have no idea what to do. Ian gets nervous. You would never, he's like a very calm and cool and relaxed guy, but he, he, I think we were all a little bit nervous, but that turned into excitement, I think, as we started to play together. The drugs helped. Absolutely. <laughs> we don't do drugs. How did you pick your name? How did you come up with it? That's a good question. It started with a random name generator, and we found the name Sunshine. And that's the one we stuck with. That was the one we were going to find. Well, we found what? Like Operation Sunshine was what we were kicking yeah. around and stealing Sunshine. Sunshine. And we liked, Sunshine Agency. We liked Sunshine because it was bright and had a happy and positive connotation. And we, we wanted, wanted positive, the, positivity. We also wanted to tie it to music also. So we were like Sunshine, Orchestra, <laughs> Sunshine, Symphony. Really, it, uh, it went. came together. Mm -hmm. What do you hope to accomplish with the band? World domination. <laughs> <laughs> what else with a local cover band? <laughs> I, I mean, uh, hope to cure um, adult onset Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. I think we want to be a successful cover band in the Lincoln Valley, where we get asked it's to it. play events and play weddings, and people want to come see us. And you know, that's really all we can ask for. Our misfits, retirement parties. Bachelorette parties. Bachelorette parties. <laughs> Bachelor parties. <laughs> I'm sorry. How do you feel your band is doing overall as a group so far? Really well. Yeah, I think we got a... We're, we're, I know their names now. <laughs> Uh, That's a good thing. Months. Yeah, I don't like Tim, Pete, Pete, Tim. I, I confuse them all the time. I called one of them uh, Pablo once. I think there, there was an instant band chemistry, and I think that was kind of apparent when we were on stage already in our first show. You know, it, it kind of showed. But I think it's only going to get better and better. So that's exciting. Yeah, I know you each have been in several bands in the past. How so far? How do you feel that? Sunshine is compared to other bands you've been in the past. That's a iffy question. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to answer that question. <laughs> no, I think what from like I just earlier said, it's it already feels really comfortable. So that's I mean it takes time a lot of times in other in bands to get to know one another and kind of feel comfortable enough on stage together to uh, show like your sense. true self. I, I don't know how else to describe it, but. I feel like it takes some time to do that, and we kind of accomplish that right away, so it's always cool. I think the musicianship of this band is probably top-notch compared to the bands that I've played with. Um, even though I found some of them on Craigslist, you know. <laughs> we found Tim on Craigslist. We're great find that one. Not, not even in the music section. Disconnection. He was, yeah. he was selling a furnace. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, uh, it was awkward. It was awkward. Was and he happened to play bass. Yeah. Fun. No, we, yeah, it was it was such a find, and, and yes, musicianship is excellent. Like that's one thing that came together instantly. Is everybody came in ready to play songs, and we did that, and we banged through set lists really quickly. Absolutely. In bands you've played overall, what would you say is like a show that you'll always remember for one reason or another? Good, bad, both, and different. No. <laughs> Shows. With uh, any band. Any band. I, any band you've played with. Playing with the Blues Brotherhood. I had a really great show at Mimi King's in New York City with uh, Tom Bones Malone, Blue Lou Marini, Alan Rubin, uh, the original uh, Blues Brothers horn section. So that, for me, at least, that was one of my better shows. More memorable. There's always stories playing with She Said Sunday. I mean, there were road trips that we took that were a lot of fun. There were a couple times where we blew fuses in places. <laughs> Music Fest is always awesome. Living High Bonfire, you, you blew the generator the one year. Yes, yeah, blowing the generator. I think probably some of my highlights were playing at the Lehigh Valley Music Awards. That was really cool to be recognized for that. And also playing at Music Fest, because that's like, 
that's where you want to play in the Lehigh Valley is at Music Fest and it was really exciting the crowd was really into it. We got a standing ovation. That was fun. You're standing here, you gotta answer. <laughs> Most memorable. One time I played a surprise, surprise one-year-old birthday party, and the surprise was that it was for a one-year-old, and we thought it was like for a 35-year-old. So that was that was probably the most memorable. Um, yeah. That is my final answer. Genius. Anything to add? All right. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Happy to. Do we do okay?